Pause the video and try this question. In a previous Reason Prep Daily video, video number eight, it was about the math subject test level two, I talked about using your calculator and how that can help you, especially on trig questions, do a problem in a way that's, shall we say, not sanctioned by the test makers. In other words, a way that you're not supposed to do it, but you can because of the way you can use your calculator and because it's a multiple choice question. And the same thing also applies to the ACT. So here's a trig question where you could do this and it could be done quickly if you do if you know how to do this, but you could do this using trig identities. And I'll show you that method in a second. The problem is having to memorize and learn all those trig identities. Now, it might be worth it, and if you've got the time and the motivation, it might be worth it to study the trig identities that you're taught in math class. But I also like to, even if I'm gonna learn those, have a backup method, or at least a method I can use to check my answer so that I can do it without having to know the trig identity. So here, we wanna know which is equivalent to sine of theta cos secant of negative theta. Uh, let's, instead of using a trig identity, let's pick a theta find the value of this, see which choice matches. So let's pick a theta. Let's do theta is equal to 20 degrees. And let's plug that in. Well, that's going to be the sine of theta times the cosecant of neg uh, sine of 20 times the cosecant of negative 20. Now, you do need to know this trig identity, that the cosecant is just 1 over the sine of theta. So we're going to transform this into the sine of 20 times 1 over the sine of negative 20. And now let's put that in our calculators and see what we get. This, incidentally, it's the same thing as, just as a shortcut, the sine of 20 over the sine of negative 20. So we'll just figure that out, see what we get. So sine of 20 divided by sine of negative 20. And we get negative one. So F looks pretty good, but whenever you plug in, you always wanna check all the choices. And if you go ahead and plug in all the choices, you'll see the only one that works is gonna be choice F when you plug in 20 in for theta. So F is gonna be our answer to the question. And there we've done it without knowing really anything besides that cosecant is one over sine. How could we do this with your trig identities? And again, if you know this trig identity, it's pretty quick. The thing you have to know is first, just like last time, the cosecant of negative theta is the same thing as one over the sine of negative theta. But then you have to know as a side note that sine of negative theta is the same thing as negative, whoops, let's put that inside. Negative theta is the same thing as negative sine of theta. So we can transform this then into one over negative sine of theta. And now we're gonna go ahead and do our multiplication. So we had sine of theta times one over negative sine of theta. The sine of thetas are gonna cancel and we're left with negative one, which is of course what we got for F. Now again, if you know that, it's pretty quick, but at the very least, we have a backup method where we can use our calculator effectively to plug in a number, see which choice matches, and then move on. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.